Hey, hi friends. Welcome back to our automation lab once again. And let's continue this session related to the TDA framework. In the previous session, we have created this uh, synchronization method. Also, this driver commands for click, send key, and gate attribute method. Okay. Now, let's create some pages or page objects for our uh, this swag, swag labs login invite user test case. Okay, we have created one, only one test case and also I think we have created after test method here. So let's cut this method from here and uh, let's paste it after this in this suit uh, in our best test. Okay, now uh, we have uh, written here everything is hardcoded, right? For example, like this XPath, uh, like this XPath and this Android UI automator and this. Uh, uh, same keys and this accessibility id everything we have done as a hard code now uh, let's do some code re reusability okay if you have multiple test case and we want to use this same keys uh, like uh, for example in our swag lab app uh, if you check that uh, we have multiple test case like invalid username invalid password valid username invalid pa uh, valid password invalid username both blank everything uh, lots of lots many test cases right so uh, you have to practice for all these test cases. I will uh, give you the example of one or two test cases, how to modify it. You have to practice all these for test cases, but every time we require to click on this username uh, or password or login button, right? So uh, to clicking on the login button, every time we require to uh, like use this command, like click on the login button using this accessibility ID, right? To avoid this code duplications in all our test cases, what we have to do, we have to create some page objects for this. Okay, so page object model. So page object model, it's a initialization or it's a best way to develop any automation framework. For example, for the page object model itself, okay, some of the organization uh, is working on page object model itself. Okay, so we have developing our TDD framework inside that we are using the page objects. So how to develop that page object model? So first of all, let's create a one package here inside this test class only. Okay, follow this lecture guys very carefully so that you can understand and develop the best automation framework. Okay, and you can explain that framework while going to the in interview or in your day to day routine also you can develop this type of best framework in the mobile automation part. So follow these lectures very carefully from the start till end. So I'm going to create one package here, com dot, let's say bs dot, uh, what we can define here like a page objects. I have created one package. Inside that package, we have to create a page objects for this login class, first of all, right? So we have only one class like here, like a login test, right? So let's create a one uh, class for this login class. Uh, uh, let, let's create a one package for this login class. So first of all, I'm going to create one class as a login. Okay. I'm underscore login page object. Okay, let's finish it now inside that we require to create some page objects okay, how to create that page object so first of all let's use here to to create any page object we have to create a one uh, we have to use one annotation is called as an android find by android find by. it's coming from io apm java client page factory Okay, so this is uh, our Java client jar we have integrated here in the UAM, right? So it's coming from that particular jar uh, page factory class, okay, from this uh, Java client library only. Now we have to create a, a pass here, like when we use the, lots of people making mistakes here, they are used like a find by. So whenever you check the here, like find by. So it's coming from the Selenium supports, okay? So whatever APM related, uh, related like locators, for example, here we have used uh, in our Swag Lab app, like Android UI automator, like accessibility ID, this will not use if you use the find by, okay? 
so understand this concept very carefully so we require to use the android find by okay only while working with the mobile automation now let's create a uh, here ui automator so how do we are uh, accessing this first element uh, element in here like we require to enter the uh, username in our username field text right so first of all let's create ui automator okay just just type ui and control space it will uh, like fully create a uh, like ui automator for you. here we have uh, ui automator so i'll just uh, going to copy this one here you, you can see we are used like apm by dot android ui automator. so here we are not required to use this entire sentence we just required to type ui and dot ui automator we can copy this ui automator and simply paste it here okay now our first things is totally ready so we have created one annotations and dot find by and we have access that through the ui automator locator simple now create this text so so define this text for creating uh, or defining this text we require to do like a private let's say web element is equal to uh, private wave element we require to define a wave element here so we can define as a user uh, let's say name field username field uh, let's say text boss field text so we can define as a text okay now we require to import this username field wave element right our declaration is ready so we are finding that element username text field using this ui automator now let's create a method for this so we are going to create a page object public page object uh, let's say login page object we have to define this class only login page object and uh, we can de define enter we are creating that method enter user name inside that we'll pass string username name as a parent okay now let's create username as pattern we require to, to uh, pass uh, a written type for this okay so and as we have not defined any written type here so what method we are using for this uh, sending the text into the any text box here we have defined that method already right in our base test we are using this method as send keys this is the method we are using right so let's define this method here send keys Saint keys and inside that let's pass this username. Okay, and uh, also add the return type for this return. We are after sending the key. We are uh, locating on the same page. Page right. We are not uh, uh, going to whenever we click on the login button. We are on the same page. After doing this action on the element, we are. On the same page right so we are return return here uh, same page so we'll return this right here we have same key method this method is not created because we have created this method inside this base task base class right so what we have to do we have to do some inherits concept here so that our page object uh, class should be access this methods from this base task base test right so how to do that so here we simply do extends this page object to our best test simple so uh, after doing this saint keys uh, method we have to pass username text field and after that we we'll require to pa pass here username why this username um, field text is here Because here we have defined in our Saint Keys method, we have defined that text as an argument. So it, it's accepting two arguments 
uh, like wave element and our text, right? So here we require to pass our wave element as a uh, argument and username as a uh, value, right? So simple here we have created one page object for our uh, text box here username username text box. Okay. After that, what we are doing? We are clicking on that element and uh, we are doing send keys. Okay, this method we have done. Now we have creating um, clicking on the clicking on the login button after that, right? After that, we are clicking login button. So here we have created one method for login button as well. Before that, if you not understand, guys, or exactly understand what happened, whenever uh, we are accessing this in our uh, like login page, I will show you that step by step. So what happened here, when we access this send key method in our page object model, it will automatically accessing from this particular method from this base class. And whenever you call this send keys method, it will automatically apply this visibility of ele element method, right? This is uh, we have defined here. And uh, then it will uh, automatically apply the send keys method here and then do the send keys in our field. So what happened now? We, have reduced lots of code uh, here. So we not required to write again and again that in score to explicitly wait and after that same keys and everything. We have reduced lots of lots, lots of code and we use that code reuse, reusability in our project. Okay. When we remove this wave elements, we will see that how we are uh, like uh, use and reusability of this code and how we can remove the lengthy code and how we can apply the synchronization every step using this TDD framework. Okay. So first of all, before that, let's create our page uh, objects for all, all uh, required elements. So first of all, we have created this uh, for sending uh, text in our login. After that, uh, let's uh, create one uh, page object to click on this login button. Right. So I'll define here, like right here, to understanding purpose, here is only three to four meters so that you, you can easily understand. But if you are working on the big project, so we require to tie, do some like um, uh, comments here, like it's it's for send key username. Okay, so this methods after that, let's say click on on login button, right? So let's create a, a one page object for login button also we can define as android find by again and here now we can use accessibility id so we'll use accessibility and we'll pass that accessibility we'll copy this from here and we'll pass it here okay now let's create uh, web element for this so i'll create a web element web uh, private web element, private web element, and let's say login button. Login button. Now let's create a method for this public. We can define login page object. Object. Let's say click on login button simple we have created this now access the uh, login method from our base test uh, click method from our base test because we are clicking on um, that button so click method from the uh, base test click login button this login button will pass here and we are after clicking on this button we are just uh, doing a test for the error message right because we are uh, checking uh, fail wrong username and password, right? Login invalid username. So we are checking login invalid. So we are not redirecting on any other page. So we'll return this here. Simple. So these two methods is ready now. Okay, in login page, these two methods is ready now. Now we have to create a third method also, right? So what happened when we click on the login button and enter your wrong username, then we will get uh, some uh, like uh, what we can say. 
uh, we'll get some error message text, right? So what we have to do, we have to capture that text. So here, let's say, get error message text. So here, create a page object for this also. Again, I'm going to find Android. Find by web element and inside that let's pass. Now what we have we locator we are using for that getting getting test. Yes, X path, right? So I'll just copy this X path. And here in the login page, we'll type as X path. X path is equal to and inside that we'll pass that X path. Right? Create a web element for this private private web element private web element let's say error message text message text and now let's create uh Let's create method for this. And here we are creating directly login page of So what we are getting here, we are taking text as a attributes here, right? Or like we are getting that text. So what we have to do here uh, to get that text, uh, we are creating method with string written type. Here we can check on the our base test. What is the written type of get attribute method? The string, right? So we'll create a method here, public string what we can say get actual error search text get actual error message text we can write a full uh, sentence also when Enter invalid user so we have created one method here now let's create written type for this so written type of this is return we can say what we have to call we have to call the gate attribute method from here so we have to call get attribute and we can pass error message text as attribute and this get, uh, so method type of this written is text so we pass text is here. okay so now what we have done here till time. So we have created our page object model uh, package. Inside that we have created one login page object as class. And inside that we have defined our all page objects. Okay, what we required for this single test only. Okay, now in the next session, let's implement that uh, all these page objects in our uh, login page object class for this particular one invalid uh, username, invalid username um, test case. Okay, still time all required uh, page object methods we have created for our uh, login invalid username um, test case. Okay, so uh, now in the next lecture, lecture, let's understand how we can uh, reduce this code uh, steps and how can you can use the code re reusability and how we can access this our uh, page objects in our uh, actual test okay so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care